Mitsubishi Evolution versus Subaru WRX STI. We've tested these two cars every which way except on snow and ice. Today that changes. Here at the frozen tundra near Sault Ste. Marie where it's minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit, just 9 degrees warmer than the last ice bowl. That's right, Todd. <laughs> this is it. We're at Continental's Proving Ground. We're going to test them on stock summer tires. That'll be exciting. And then we're going to put snow tires, the same kind of snow tires on, to find out which of these complicated all-wheel drive systems performs the best in the conditions for rallying that they were designed for. And then we're going to take them out on a road course and find out why the Finnish are such good rally drivers. We'll see how Michigan drivers compare. <laughs> exactly. Well, we started the day on the summer tires that the cars came with, and of course, uh, you just don't want to do that out here. Uh, this was just basically uh, kind of a base kind of test to show what these cars would do on this kind of surface with summer tires, and the answer is they don't do much. Um, even with all-wheel drive, you just don't have any grip for accelerating, for cornering, for stopping. So here at the Continental Proving Grounds, we've got a a uh, set of uh, Continental winter tires on each car and uh, that makes all the difference in the world of course. Now they handle like rally cars that you would take up to uh, Finland uh, to compete with. Uh, they, the, the grip, uh, the handling, the, uh, the braking is just so much better of course. It's what you need to do if you own one of these cars and you live in a northern climate and you want to drive it year round, you need winter tires. You need a set of separate tires just to take full advantage of the car and of course to be much safer. The, the numbers we were looking for today, of course, we did our acceleration times. Uh, we were not able to get a quarter mile before we had to brake with the summer tires. I think we got the quarter mile on the winters. Um, we did braking again from as high as we could, uh, 40 miles an hour in the summers, uh, more like 70 or 80 in the, uh, the winter tires. Then we went to our figure eight courses, two separate courses, one for each a car so that they each had virgin snow to run on at the beginning. And then we ran laps of our little snow uh, handling course as well. Rally fans, you know this car and you know it's competition. We've got one of the two rally-based cars right here. This is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10. All-wheel drive, you have three different settings right here, a button on the steering wheel. After trying all different, uh, all three modes, we discovered that the uh, gravel setting works best. You can drift the car nicely. It feels a little, a little looser. You can go into a turn and if it slides back toward, uh, say, a snowbank, uh, you can power out of it very nicely. This is Subaru's top of the line Impreza WRX STI. All right, in this one, the main thing, you've got this SI drive, sports, sports sharp, and intelligent. We left it in intelligent the entire time. These ones really uh, adjust your throttle and so forth, and, and throttle input really wants to be as smooth as possible on the, on the snow, so intelligent seemed to be the way to go. Center diff, as I said, we like the manual mode, one down from full lock. Uh, this has been your classic Chevy versus Ford sort of story. The guys who like Subarus all, will always prefer the WRX STI. The guys who like Mitsubishis will always prefer the Evo, and the Evo 10 is no exception. Um, either car will do you great uh, if, you, if you find a good patch of uh, snow someplace to drive it the way we just drove these. Uh, you'll enjoy either car, but the Mitsubishi feels looser on the snow, especially on the handling course. You can fling it around a little bit more. As I said, if you put it in the gravel setting, uh, it, it drifts very nicely. And what you can do is you can kind of catch it up as you're drifting toward a snow bank. Uh, you can power out of it very nicely. The Subaru feels a little tighter, a little more, let's say, European in, in flavor, flavor, if you will. Uh, kind of a tighter car, uh, also good easy to fling around but not quite as uh, as loose as the uh, Mitsubishi. Mm -hmm. 